Good morning. So I've got my OSFS48 Surpass crankcase here. It's damaged. This was a parts engine that was given to me uh, by a customer. And just on a whim and actually kind of a, a subscriber query, I'm going to attempt to see if I can actually seal this, repair this enough so that this actually can be used to make the engine operational again. Now I want to give you a lot better look at the extent of the damage here so what we've got here is well, what happened with this if you didn't see the first video is that the crank pin sheared off the engine and sent the connecting rod right into the, the case here and that's what caused this breach so I've got a crack it goes all the way through here it starts to go this way a bit and it goes this way all the way to about this point here to about here. So this is a pretty serious uh, repair that I'm going to attempt. I don't know that it's going to work. I've got all the other, or most of the other pieces of the engine, so, and I do have other pieces on order, so hopefully I can make this an operational engine again. If not, I've also ordered a crankcase that I found, but it's coming from China, so who knows if I'm really going to get it or not. But anyway, you can see the inside here, and it's pretty rough. I've already cleaned this up. I've got my JB weld here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this on because it's going to take you know a week or so to cure. And I'm not going to be uh, real uh, sparse here. It's going to look ugly. It's going to be bad because it's going to need to be pretty thick. I've already tried to tap this piece back into place and form it back into place the best I can. I don't want to touch this anymore because I'm afraid it's just going to completely break out. The other thing is I'm actually going to have to have some JB Weld on the inside here. A very thin, very thin layer just to help try to seal this. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and see what we can get done here. forgot you might actually want to see what I'm doing with the JB Weld. I've thoroughly cleaned this case and dried it so it's ready to accept this material. So I think I'm going to start with maybe my little bit on the inside here. I was actually thinking about kind of roughing this surface up a little bit, but I'm not really sure that's going to buy me much of anything because this is kind of a rough finish on here anyway. I'm going to try not to make too big of a mess at the bottom of this engine, but <coughs> the real intent is just to seal it. sides on the stand. You're not going to see the bottom of the crankcase anyway. Let's go inside here and try and smooth this out. Alright, so here's my repair so far. Now the good thing about JB Weld is it's sandable. So anything 
in this area on the inside that goes to about here that the rear cover is going to contact can be smoothed out and sanded down with some really fine grit sandpaper. Since it still has a bit of a bulge, I can actually have a little bit of material on the bottom there without really contacting the crank or the connecting rod, I believe. So, I think this looks like it's a pretty decent. Uh, I think I actually have a little bit of a crack here that I need to. move some of this material over. JB Weld repairs don't or seldom ever look pretty. <laughs> and quite honestly, I've only had success in doing this about 50% of the time anyway and similar type things. I've never attempted an ex a repair to this extent before. Well, I take it back, I did put a big patch on a ASP FT160 twin cylinder engine and that seemed to hold. I haven't run that engine more than once or twice, but it did seem to hold. And it was a similar type of thing where I lost the connecting rod and it went through the case, although it created a complete hole that I patched or I used to patch with a, uh, I used a piece of brass. I had lost the piece completely. So. I guess if I reflect on that, this does have a fairly high likelihood of of working. So let's uh, hope for the best here. And I'm just going to set this someplace where it's not going to get touched and where it can cure for a good week or so. And we'll see how successful we are.